now in front of nine o'clock white mountains today you're going to be out skiing and riding but of course what to do in the evening and it is theater time ladies and gentlemen m d productions has some wonderful productions uh, going on ken martin the artistic director thank you very much for, for stopping by this morning thanks for having us and chris bellis uh, director of the latest uh, effort of m d productions uh, last of the red hot lovers and also new here to the valley uh, cranmore inn and also chef market so uh, as they say uh, well welcome and lots going on. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> well, well, let's start. Let's start with uh, Last of the Red Hot Lovers. Um, Neil Simon. So you know it's funny, and you know it's a classic. Thanks. So uh, feel free to. Uh, it's going on through through March first. Correct. And just uh, where, when, and who are some of the people we'll see in it? And maybe we'll know. Well, it's uh, running through March 1st, as you said. It's at 7.30 in the evenings, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays, and mm -hmm. 2 o'clock on Sundays. Uh, Ken is actually appearing as Barney Cashman, who uh, is a very funny character. Who Such a funny man, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I try. <laughs> <laughs> who uh, has decided that uh, because of the sexual revolution of the 1960s, he's mm -hmm. going to get in on the game, and he's going to have an, an extramarital affair. Mm -hmm. And so he tries to meet tries three, is the operative word in that tries sentence. to meet three three women yes <laughs> yes um, and to various degrees of success or lack yes. of success <laughs> um, and you know we have three really wonderful actresses in the production mm -hmm. as well uh, Tracy uh, Brenda and Elaine who are mm -hmm. doing fabulous jobs they in really their roles they're fun to work with and uh, it's a super funny show so you should come out and uh, take a look at it and Excellent. And so, so what is, we're, we're very fortunate in the Valley is that now we have year-round live theater, which mm -hmm. for a time we did not, and, and now we do. So really, thank you very much for, for, for doing that in, in here, here in the Valley. But what does it take to put on a show like this? If, if you're here, you know, you, you want to be, you want to get involved. What sort of time commitment does it, does it take from we're doing this until those lights go on for showtime? Well, well whoever wants to take it, please <laughs> go ahead. It's very funny that you would ask that question because in the normal process, you have four to six weeks of rehearsal, right. um, you know, two or three nights at most during the week, um, depending on what the schedule of the actor's availability is. But for this particular rehearsal, we, uh, we had two weeks to put the show up because it was a replacement show for another show that we weren't able to cast. Mm -hmm. So it was a more intensive rehearsal schedule. Um, but yeah, normally you're looking at two nights, two or, two or three nights a week right. at most. And, and when, when how, how is it in terms of uh, sort of remembering all your lines? As, 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 because, uh, and, and I'll just, I'll say, for, because as you go on in life, there's so much in your head that, you know, you might be thinking about something else from time to time. Well, when you get up on the stage, you kind of have to put that stuff out of your head and become mm -hmm. whoever this person is. Uh -huh. uh, and that's part of the joy of acting is being able to set yourself aside for a little bit, you know. Right. You say, oh, I don't have to worry about whether I have dog or cat food at home. <laughs> and I can think about, uh, sure. you know, being this silly person and doing these very silly things. Nice. And also, um, like with, with Neil Simon, even though they were written, you know, you're saying about the, you know, what's going on in the 1960s, which is a generation ago, they're still very relevant. They are. You know, the, the, the messages of the play, the comedy of the play, you know, is goes beyond any time. And the, the messages of the play are really about relationships and what mm -hmm. you look for in other people and, and why you do things. Mm -hmm. and, Absolutely. Uh, you know, and you know, so the the show is very relevant today mm -hmm. because you know we we always want something more than what we have mm -hmm. and want to try what somebody else is yeah. having, and you know we become disappointed and dissatisfied yeah. with that as well. You know, it's, it's, it's sort of timely. I, I just you know Neil Simon, of course, is known for the Odd Couple, and there's been a, a new Odd Couple, a new a new TV show now. Right. So it's sort of become become. But and speaking of that, well, TV and TV, we can go to movies. Movie, we can go to Oscars. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. Boom. That boom. Was boom. Quite a transition. Um, so, <laughs> so uh, also Oscars are uh, are tomorrow night, and uh, you are involved uh, somehow right. locally. We <laughs> are. Uh, Alec Kerr, who works at the Conway Daily Sun, right. uh, have, This is his fifth year hosting the Oscar party for us. Yes. Uh, Vito Marcello from Bellini's is going to be supplying the food. So yes. you know, you're going to have some good food. Mm -hmm. uh, the tickets are $15 for Oscar night. It goes from 7 o'clock until whenever they wrap that show right. up, which can be late. But <laughs> um, it's a good evening of fun. Uh, during the commercials, we do trivia contests. We, uh, we have a rowdy room and a less rowdy room. Uh -huh, so if okay. you want to just sit and enjoy the show, you can sit and enjoy the show. Or uh -huh. you can come be with the rowdy people and make fun of the way people are dressed and whatever. <laughs> oh, interesting. So basically, I mean, you're, you have it up on 
on the big screen and you're watching along and making comments and uh, and enjoying, uh, shall we say, uh, sustenance and cheer. Absolutely. Yeah. And you're supporting the local theater company, m and Productions. Yeah. Correct. Nice. And, and I know we've been we've been talking about this. That's that's going on tomorrow night. And then of course again the Red Hot uh, Last of the Red Hot Lovers through through March 1st. Um, sort of looking ahead, uh, might you give us a, a glimpse of uh, if nothing specific? Uh, are there any other uh, events well, that we have? Uh, the advice to the players coming in and mid-March they're bringing us <coughs> Romeo and Juliet uh, this is their third year coming back to mm -hmm. the theater uh, bringing professional Shakespeare theater to our to our theater so we're mm -hmm. thrilled to have them back again this year and then after that we're doing our own version of uh, a Shakespeare uh, called Toil and Trouble it's a new writer who takes their own mm -hmm. twist on it on nice. a, the M play, the Scottish play. Okay, nice, <laughs> nice. Well, uh, just uh, once again, the basics. Uh, where's the theater? Again, what time? Websites? Any information you'd like to, to get out? Well, we're located at 1857 White Mountain High, which is the bright yellow plaza uh, yes. called Willow Common with the green roofs right on the main strip in, in North Conway. Um, our phone number is 603-733-5275. Uh -huh. And our website is yourtheater, T-H-E-A-T-R-E dot -E com. Yes, the R-E is very important. It is. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, again, Ken, Chris, thank you very much for, for stopping by. And uh, a little bit uh, later on, I believe we have some tickets to, uh, to give away to uh, Last of the Red Hot Lovers. So that's what you should do. Make some reservations for tonight. We'll be right back.